another pet battle video so today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to defeat Mr. Terrible, Caradai over there and lastly is Slopus. So today on our team we have the Pandarian Water Spirit and then we have Chromineus and lastly we have the Cinder Kitten. So let's get this party started. Alright so um, the Pandarian Water Spirit will go first of course. We're going to be using Geyser and then we're going to be using Whirlpool and then we're just going to finish off Mr. Terrible with two Water Jacks. We actually won't even need to water jet, but that's okay. We'll just be there just to have fun. There you go. And then water jet again. Mr. Terrible is going to buff himself. He's going to hit us with 389 damage right now. Bam. We have 1 HP left. That's fine. Sometimes randomness will come into play and you will get crit. But don't worry. Uh, the geyser and of course whirlpool will finish him off before the next round anyways. So once we are in the next round, there's no point in continuing on with the Water Spirit because we are slower than Caradai. We're just going to switch over to Chrominius right now. Mr. Chrominius, there you go, he's going to buff himself. We're going to debuff him with Howl so he takes 100% of the damage. Ta-da! There you go, and then we're going to bite him. So we actually won't, we don't want to use Surge of Power right away because it's not enough to defeat him and we're going to be recovering so badly. So now we finish Bite, here is an option. You can either continue Biting until Howl comes up again or you can actually use Surge of Power and uh, until uh, whatever because you're going to be recovering. But I would suggest you just Bite him until Howl comes up again so that you can finish him off with Surge of Power. Um, yes, because there is some randomness in play if you use Surge of Power right after that first Bite. I would not recommend that. Anyway, so we're going to use Bite again three times. There you go. And then we're going to Howl. He's going to buff himself. There you go. Howl. And then we're going to uh, search a power. And Mr. Caradai will definitely die. Goodbye, Mr. Caradai. I will miss you. There you go. So, Slopus will come out. And we're going to be recovering. So, um, here's the thing. He's, he's debuffed, debuffed us with stench and um, it reduces our accuracy by 25% so hopefully Howl will debuff him. Usually it does. Sometimes it does miss but that's just bad RNG. But most of the time it will hit. Um, so it sets up for the Cinder Kitten to come out with Scorch Earth and sometimes it might miss because of that bad bad debuff. But this time it hits for 855 strong. There you go. Even if it does miss, that's okay. Keep hitting him with Ren until Scorch Earth comes up again. And then do the same process. And he will die by by the end of this. There you go. And then lastly, just rend him one more time. And he's dead. There you go. That was actually a really, really simple and easy fight. Like I said, there may be some randomness in this fight. But the majority of the time, 90% of the time, there is no randomness. So, ooh, there we go. So anyways, if you enjoy this video and of course if it helps you out, a rating and a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated. And of course comment down below and don't forget to check out my channel. If you like the channel, please press subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!